Hi everyone, so I'm back with another Gibson Les Paul Buyers Guide and this year we're going to take a look at the 2018 Les Paul range and compare them to last year's 2017 models. So Gibson will be selling the 2017 range well into the new year, often for discount on the price. So some of you guys might be asking yourself the question, which one do I buy? What's the difference? And are the new models worth the extra cash? We'll first take a look at the new features across the range and then we'll take a look at each model individually. So for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to Blue Shed. So without further ado, let's crack on with this buyer's guide. First up and available on all the 2018 Les Paul models are cryogenically treated fret. The frets are exposed to extreme cold during the manufacturing process in an attempt to make them more long lasting and less prone to rust and general wear and tear. There are more slim taper necks almost exclusively used across the 2018 range. If you're a fan of the chunkier rounded profile, your only options are the traditionals because all other necks are slim taper profiles. Last year's 2017 guitars saw the high performance or the HP models available on all guitars from the fadeds right through to the standards. This year we only see one high performance model and that is available on the standard only. As we have seen in previous years, the high performance models come with a similar spec sheet, aimed mostly at the more modern player. You have the easy excess neck joint, a G-Force automatic tuning system, a zero fret titanium nut, and a dip switch with push-pull options, creating 150 sonic variations. But this year, new to the 2018 HPs, we have rear mounted pickups which remove the pickup ring from the guitars. Lefties should be happy because the entire range is now available as a left handed option. 2018 sees some fresh new colours, perhaps more noticeably on the 2018 standards. We've got a hot pink, a blood orange, a Mojave fade and a cobalt fade. But if you're after something more traditional we see your usual offerings of gold tops, honey, tobacco and cherry sunbursts across the range as well. We don't see the fully fledged return of the poker chip which was removed from the range last year but we do see its return on the traditional and classics. If you're a fan of P90 pickups 2018 could be your year with P90s available on the classic models. All in all the 2018 range looks and feels a whole lot smaller and more condensed with a huge reduction in the HP models and fewer colour options available. So first up we have the Gibson Les Paul standards and similar to last year we have the high performance model and also a more traditional model as well. The 2018 standard comes equipped with Burzbucker Pro lead and rhythm pickups. These can be split to single coil operation for some brighter clean tones. We have an asymmetrical slim taper neck profile and an ultra modern weight relief body which features a triple A flamed maple top. Your finish options include from left to right, a cobalt burst, a heritage cherry, a Mojave burst and a blood orange burst. You get an extra finish option on the HP version if hot pink takes your fancy. So let's check out the similarities between the 2017 versus the 2018 standards. We have the same pickups, the burst buckers, the same neck profile and the same form of weight relief which is the ultra modern. If you're prepared to put down an extra £499 for the 2018 the only real differences are your frets, which are the cryogenically treated ones, and your finish options. So next up are the Gibson Les Paul Traditionals, and unlike last year, we don't have a high performance model upgrade. The 2018 Traditional comes equipped with Burst Bucker 1 and 2 pickups with orange drop caps. This features a rounded neck profile and is the only guitar in the 2018 lineup to do so. The bodies on these are non-weight relief, and if you look carefully, you notice the return of the poker chip this year, which was lost on the 2017 Traditionals. And top it off, we have a double grade a flame maple top. And the finishes from left to right include a Honey Burst, a cherry sunburst and a tobacco burst. So this year's models feature the same pickups, the same weight relief and the same neck profile as last year's models which means an extra 400 quid won't get you much more than a different finish, frets and nut material. So next up we have the Gibson Les Paul Classics. Perhaps one of the biggest changes to the 2018 lineup comes in the form of the Classics. These are loaded with P90 pickups, they've got slim taper neck profiles and we see the return of the poker chip on the classics as well. These are all fixed to a non-weight relief body and your finish options from left to right include a gold top, an ebony finish and a Pelham blue. Whilst the 2017 and 18 models have the same neck profiles, 
Unlike with the standards and traditionals, we begin to see some changes this year. We have some P90 pickups, these were humbuckers last year. The guitars are non-weight relieved this year. We see the return of the poker chip and we have some new colours as well. And you're looking at around £300 more for the 2018 models compared to last year's. And next up we have the Gibson Les Paul Studios. The 2018 Studios come loaded with classic 57 pickups with cool tapping capabilities. These have a slim taper neck profile with a bound neck which is an interesting new feature added to this year's Studios. And the Studios are also ultra modern weight relieved. The finishers come in form of a smokehouse burst on the left and a vintage sunburst on the right. So let's take a look at the 17 versus 18 specs. So we have the same neck profiles and weight relief on both years, but we do see some changes in the 2018s. The classic 57s replaced the 490R 498T humbuckers on last year's models, and we have some binding on the neck, which isn't often present on the studio models. Expect to pay around 300 pounds more for a 2018 studio, pushing the prices for a studio way over a thousand pounds. And next up we have the Gibson Les Paul Tributes. So the 2018 Tributes come loaded with 490R and 498T pickups. We have a slim taper neck profile and these come with no weight relief. Finishes are the same as in the 2017s with a faded honey burst and a gold top. These are both satin finishes. So if you look at both models, we have the same finishes and the same neck profiles, but the differences include the weight relief with the 2018s being non-weight relieved and last year's models weight relieved. You also have a very small change in pickup configuration between the two years. 2018 guitars have the 490R and 498T combo. The 2017s have both the 490R and T pickups. And finally, we have the Gibson Les Paul Faded. So the Faded are shipped with 490R and 490T pickups. These feature a slim taper neck profile and the Bodies on these are ultra modern weight relieved. You've got two finish options to choose from. We've got a worn cherry or a worn bourbon. So if we take a look at the similarities, we've got the same pickups used on both models. We've got the same neck profile and we've got the same weight relief. The differences only boil down to the cryogenically treated frets and the different naming of finish options, but the colors are still very similar between each models. And you get all of this for a 200 pound price increase. So that sums up the Gibson Les Paul 2018 range and comparisons to last year's models. Most of the changes appear in the mid-level models with the classic and studio seeing a couple of interesting new appointments. There are fewer changes across the rest of the range, yet the prices are increased considerably on some of the models, especially here in the UK. So what do you guys think? Are Gibsons becoming unaffordable? Are the price increase justified or are you heading down to other manufacturers for Les Paul style guitars? I'd love to know what you guys think. Comment below in the comments box and don't forget to like and subscribe to the Blue Shed and thanks for stopping by my channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.